So you're looking for a way to make your well or lake water at your home cottage or cabin safe and bacteria free for your family. And if you could find a way, you'll avoid the expense, the environmental impact, and the inconvenience of using bottled water for drinking for your family. Now you've heard about reverse osmosis drinking water systems, but you know you'll still need an ultraviolet disinfection system to make sure it kills the bacteria. But you don't want an ultraviolet disinfection system for the whole home cottage or cabin, you just want it for your drinking water. Relax, I've got the solution right here and I'm gonna review it and show you how to install it starting right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. Now, by the end of this video, you'll have learned all about how to make your drinking water safe and bacteria free by using this Luminar GUV-5S LED ultraviolet disinfection system for just your drinking water. And you'll have all the information you need to decide if it's the best choice for your family. And you'll definitely want to hang around to the end of this video to see the amazing options that are available for this system for your connected home too. Now this Luminar GUV 5S LED UV is super easy to install because all you do is take the water line up from here from your reverse osmosis system from here up to your faucet and that's it. And because it only uses power when water is actually passing through it, the lamp lasts forever. Well, pretty much forever, at least 20 years because the lamp just turns on, disinfects your water and then turns back off again. Now I know that's totally different from all the other UV systems you've heard about in in the past, but you have to remember, this is the first version of an LED UV. So it comes packaged with a 12 volt power supply that's perfect whether you're on household power or solar. Do you have to have a reverse osmosis system before this? Can't you just run it off your main water supply through here into a faucet? Well, maybe as long as you've satisfied the pretreatment requirements required for this LED UV, no problem. But as you can see, the pretreatment requirements are pretty stringent. Iron less than 0.05 parts per million. I mean, you'd never see that. Hardness less than one grain per gallon. So that's basically soft water. Turbidity, basically nothing. Manganese, again, 0.05 parts per million. That's super low. Tannins, 0.1 parts per million. And ultraviolet transmittance, above 90%. Your best way to make sure you have all those things in place is by having a reverse osmosis system. Of course, there's a lot of other benefits to that too. So how does this revolutionary product actually work? Well, it's actually quite simple. When you open up the dedicated faucet, it's gonna sense water moving fluid through it. And as it does, it turns on the LED light. As the water flows through, it's disinfecting that water. Once you've shut it off, it stays lit for an extra 10 seconds and then shuts back down. But I'll be talking a little bit more about that later once we've got it installed. So a few installation considerations. One, it must be installed indoors. Two, you must be able to obviously get at it for the installation and be able to hook up the fittings. Three, you need a power supply available nearby. If you're adding it to your existing reverse osmosis drinking water system, you're gonna need a tubing cutter or a very sharp knife and a couple of the fittings. In this case, it's gonna be an elbow and it's gonna be a connector. Both of them are three eighths of an inch. Also keep in mind that it has to be installed vertically. Water flows in from the bottom, out through the top. You can install it underneath the kitchen sink, but mine I'm installing in the basement because first of all, the reverse osmosis system's already in the basement. And secondly, I don't have an electrical outlet under the sink. So actually installing it somewhere is quite simple. You just need somewhere firm to attach it to. So I've screwed a piece of uh, plywood onto the wall here and it's just a screw at the top and a screw at the bottom. So just removing the caps on the bottom and on the top and I've already put the screws in the correct distance apart. So we just slide that on and slide it down. Next we put the bottom connector on. It's just a 3 8 inch John Guest fitting. Slide that up. Make sure you slide all the way on and at the top we've got an elbow because we're going off into this direction so we'll slide that down make sure it's all the way on and then we need to shut off our water and the supply which is out of your view and I'm going to open the faucet to release the pressure in my case I've got a pump so I need to unplug that I've got a plastic bag here that I can cover this up in case some water leaks when I cut the pipe to uh, connect this up. And I'm also gonna, gonna shut off the water up here. And that's to make sure all the water from upstairs doesn't drain back down after I cut the tubing. All right, so once I've got that cut, I'm gonna use my tubing cutters here and I'll cut the tubing. Remember the tubing goes up inside the fitting, so we don't wanna cut it too short. Bring that all the way back down, that's tight. And also up here, we don't want to cut it too short. Something like that. 
and then we'll feed that back in. Make sure everything's tight. Now you definitely want to make sure you don't turn any power onto this unit once you've filled it up with water. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to turn all the water back on, fill up the unit. So I'm going to plug my pump back in. And then this is the power cord to the system itself. Like I say, I've already turned on the water. I filled it up with water. So now we can apply power. I've turned the water on and turned the water off. And again, the light will stay on for usually about 10 seconds after you turn the water off and then it shuts down totally. During that time, it doesn't count down the 5,000 hours at all. And then when you run some more water, it turns back on again. And you can see it's going through a startup procedure, checking the whole system out, making sure that everything is working. And of course, now it's back in standby mode and 5,000 hours. We haven't used it for even an hour, so it hasn't even gone down. You can see the temperature now is dropping because uh, the light isn't on. And if we go back to here, you can see now the on off UV cycles is nine because I've turned it on and off a couple of times since we've installed it. And if you're looking for more information on one of these Luminor GUV 5S LED systems, just check out our websites, watereastore.com in the US, watereastore.ca in Canada. We offer free shipping and discount pricing. And I mentioned earlier some of the cool optional extras that are available for this. So there's a Wi-Fi connector, so you can actually connect it up and view some of the stats on your smartphone, which can send you information about the alarm codes and also monitor the health of the system and send you messages anywhere that you can get email. That way you can review the status of your system via SMS or email and also monitor the health of your system. There's also the Sherpa module available, which lets you monitor the health of the system anywhere in your home. And you can actually plug in several ultraviolet disinfection system into the same Sherpa that are in the same home to monitor them all from one central location. This is absolutely the best solution that I've come across for a single faucet ultraviolet disinfection system that's super low on maintenance, super low on hydro use, which is especially important for you solar folks out there, and with absolutely no maintenance. Click here for your next video on ultraviolet disinfection and I'll see you there. Any questions or comments, add them down below. I read them all. I'd love to answer yours.